What's up, y'all? How you feeling? How you feeling? How you doing? Lenny Green from The Quiet Storm here. Now, this is a, a very, very special encounter that I'm experiencing on many levels. For one, first time I am in Sin City. Uh, that's uh, Cincinnati. First really? time. From first blackity, time. Blackity, 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 and there's a reason why I'm here, because the uh, 2022 Cincinnati Music Festival, which has been going on for ages, yes. uh, is going down. It has been absent for two years because of COVID. But the most important thing that's happening right now, I am sitting next to a woman who knows about Cincinnati because she was born in this city. She was raised in the city. She grinded in the city. She fell in love with music in the city. And it is a pleasure and honor to be welcoming one of the most dynamic singer songwriter, producers, multi-instrumentalist, multi Miss Penny Ford. You did some reading, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, just a little, just a little, just a little. You know, hey. after a while you have to like refresh okay. some things, that's all. Some of these people will be like, okay, now what did you sing? <laughs> <laughs> Quick. So, like, I don't know why it took me so long to get here. I really don't, but I'm here. Well, you know what? Because this city is kind of like a secret because on Monday, it will not look like this at all. It's a very, very corporate city very, very conservative city. We sit directly in the middle of Penceville and McConnellville. But, you know, we, but this festival has been something that's been around my whole life and before I was born, actually. So, so I grew up with it. So did mom and dad actually come and take you early on to the festival? What, does it no, go back that far? Well, I, I went to the festival, but not with mom and dad. Okay. Um, <laughs> you <smug out> on <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I went with my girlfriends and he used to sneak me in the club. You know what I'm saying? I think I was 12 and I had a little job with the city where they would pay us to sing on the Fountain Square. And I took my money and my girlfriend and I, and, and I bought us matching t-shirts and we went to the Teddy Pendergrass no concert. Way. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so look, here's the other interesting thing that I've learned. Uh, Cincinnati is connected to Illinois. Yeah. Not too we're far right from there. Detroit. Yeah, we're right there. Right there. Like it's like a tri it's like a tri state. Indianapolis is right over there. Kentucky is right there. Right there. And, and there's a black historical aspect to this oh, as well. Yes. Yes. Which I learned about the slaves that were in Kentucky. They had to cross through this Yeah, this is Ohio this is River. it. This is the line. This the is Civil it. War was fought on this. The abolitionists are all up and down. And if you go like about two miles up the road that way, you will find the house of Harriet Beecher Stowe, the writer of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Oh, wow. She's from here. Wow. And um, yes, it's a very rich history here. Um, the perfect thing about this city is that it's kind of secretly owned by the largest uh, distributor of consumer goods in the world, a little, little no tiny way. company called Procter & Gamble. No way. You know? And so Procter, Procter & Gamble is going to protect its own. We have General Electric here. We have Kroger. It's very big business here. And um, it's kind of a secret. I kind of wanted it to stay a secret. It's not a secret anymore. So everybody didn't no. convolve to run in like Atlanta, like, whoa. Look, you know? <laughs> By them by them being absent with this music festival for the last two years, right. it's far from a secret because they're reaching far more people across the world. Now, yes. everyone, you thought yes. it was crowded before, it's going to be more crowded now. And and what I like about what they're adding in addition to this to the Cincinnati Music Festival is what you will be a part of. You will yes. be one of the inductees. She is one yes. of the inductees of the 2022 Cincinnati. The first, this is the founded by Commissioner Reese. Yes. The first, first, first. Uh, Cincinnati Black Music Walk of Fame. And I just want to know. I'm you know, the first female. I, I know. Oh, I know. Hey. I checked that. But I want to know, though, how does it feel, you know, you've grown up here, obviously born here, grown up here, fell in love with music here. Mm -hmm. Now your name is being acknowledged stronger, even yeah. more before um, it's being embedded as a part of history. Right. I'm, I'm going to be down there with, uh, with a lawn chair next to my star. So people don't walk <laughs> on it. Like, damn, my star. You are definitely a part of the, the structure and the foundation of yes. Cincinnati music. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, the first time I did the festival, then I came back and sang at the festival, I was singing with Climax. Wow. And that was the first time I got to be like, uh, all my bullies. All those people told me to sit out somewhere and hush, you know. But um, it's uh, incredible. My father was produced 
uh, some of the first James Brown music. And my mom was on King Records as well. So my family is connected through the music. My, you know, my mom got a record deal and she got me. <laughs> music, music group. You know how I go, it's rock and roll, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, and actually I met Commissioner Reese many years ago on the skating rink. We were like, no skate, that was my skating buddy. That's my girl, and I'm so proud of her. Yeah, she's real. And I, I, I support her 100%. Anything she wants me to do, and lending my platform, anything to help anybody who's helping the um, the black community in Cincinnati, because she's probably the only person down there standing up for. It. Because a lot of things around here are built around slavery. We have the mm. Underground Railroad Museum. Yeah. But that focus is mostly on the abolitionists, the white people that helped the slaves across. That's cool. Over at the Hard Rock, they have the King Records thing, which focuses on Sid Nathan, the Jewish man that owned that company. Mm -hmm. So Alicia said, we keeping this black. They're not coming in and fashioning it. Everything is black, blackity black, 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 on black, on black. <laughs> That's right, and I love her for it. Hey, look, I love her for it too. And for her to start it up is, Obviously, well overdue. Uh, going in this 2022 induction with you, uh, a legendary gentleman, unfortunately, is no longer with us, Wilbert Longmire. Uh, yes. But also, Midnight Star. I used to stalk them. No way. Would like, you be in the seriously. Group? I was a kid. No, I didn't want to be in the group. I just wanted to find out how they got that magnet. I used to stalk the radio stations. <laughs> I used to be in the radio stations at night because to me, the music was in there, you know, in my mind. Midnight Star, they'd be like rehearsing in the basement. They look like, Who's that in the window? I'd be like, <laughs> right. they'd be jogging down the street and I'd be on the other side jogging. Like, so it is amazing. Um, Belinda Lipscomb is one of my muses. Wow. I looked at their work ethic. Their work ethic was second to none. And it's, they call me Penny Bopper because they used to look, I'd be at the club. They'd be like, what are you doing here? You gotta be like 14. So they started calling me Penny Bopper and now they call me Bob for sure. So if anybody calls me Bob, I know they're yeah, from. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, the one I like about Cincinnati, what I'm seeing so far, is that it reminds me a lot of New Orleans. I'll tell you, in one in one regard. That's no, no, I know, <laughs> I know. I see musicianship a lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you don't see that yeah. in a lot of cities. Well, as I much think these days. the reason why it's so prevalent here and the arts is so prevalent because there's not no distractions here. There's no casino. Well, there's one. There's one. You know, and if you didn't know, you know, um, strip clubs are illegal here. But, you know, I, 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 I know. No, and, and Larry Flint is from here. That <laughs> whole movie was about, that whole movie was a true story that happened here in Cincinnati. But it's five minutes across Kentucky. You can go, you know what I mean? So, right. I but guess. here, and I really like that about this city. You know, people go, oh, girl, you're open minded. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very close minded. And I'm pretty conservative <laughs> in some of my views. Yeah, I know, that's right. <laughs> don't just assume that I just think people just do whatever they want to do. I don't think so. I live in Germany right now. One of the things that I appreciate about Germany is they have rules and regulations. And some people need rules. <laughs> you can't just let them do what they no, want to no, do because no, they, they can't handle that. No, you know, so um, it's. Cincinnati is a very unique place, but it, you can be what you want to be. You just have to learn how to do things like code switch. You have to, I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can work a room full of Republicans, work them and fascinate them. <laughs> you know, a room full of Republicans right here and I'm working on, I'm the little black chicken. Blah, 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 blah. So, I'm, but if you know what you're doing and what I mean by code switch is my grandmother bless her, rest her soul, you know, she did not want me to take on, like, the black people think, you know, that internal dialogue, we ain't got nothing, mm -hmm. white man ain't gonna let us have nothing. My, my, my grandmother said, you see a white girl over there with that horse? You go get on her horse and ride it and figure out how you get you a horse. And so I was raised like that. So now I can go to Russia and control 20,000 people. Right. at one time in Russia, because you have to learn how to to meet people where they are, to deal with them on their level, to respect their culture, if you want them to respect your culture. Yeah. And I demand that people respect the culture of Native Black Americans, foundational Blacks, okay? Because now everybody wants to be Black, but we and, have some foundational. Until it's not to be Black. <laughs> 
That's right, to the police show up, huh? But, you know, like I am a champion for the foundational black uh, culture. And I, I play a black girl in, 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 in Europe. I don't, I don't have to speak German. They don't want me to speak German. They want me to be, be from Madison. They want me to be like the girls they see on YouTube and I give it to them. Wow. Starbucks, Beyonce, Jay-Z, <laughs> oh, KFC. Well, I know, know I know it's Penny Ford. She has no problem rocking a party in a mountain. That's what I do. I don't even sing much anymore. No? Not much, because I don't have to. I keep the party going. My music, thank God, or music business, for lack of a better term, they, they want to sing it. And in order to be a successful entertainer, you have to engage them. You got to give them their part. It's like Philip Bailey get up there and sing Reasons. One time he tried to show up here and do a different version. They were like, Whoa. The album. Shh, we'll sing it. We'll sing it. And that's the only thing I'm missing this year. One thing I'm missing. What am I missing? You're not singing? No, I ain't singing nothing. This I'm people being so I'm being honored this year. I ain't singing nothing. <laughs> so, they ain't wrote me no check. Frankie, Beverly, and Ray. So that's the only thing missing from this year. And I think, you know, I think so they were a staple most of the years? Yeah, every year. And there is a palpable energy. If you closed your eyes right now and you thought about the first three chords of We Are One, Please. that is a palpable energy that we need. Our black you know, I tell my white friends, like, listen, you got to learn some Frankie Beverly and Maze because if some angry black people come towards you, you might get away <laughs> if you can sing a little bit. Because <laughs> we're going to stop and do a one and a two. At least you might get a head start. So, but, you know, I mean, I missed them this year. Um, Janet was scheduled for three years ago and they gave her all the money. So, you know what I mean? I but you. next year, I mean, I love Janet. God bless her. But you want Frankie. I want Frankie. And I want Frankie. Look, and you Mace. preach it to the choir. I'm a big Frankie Beverly and Mace fan. Big. We need that. And people are saying, well, Frankie, you know, he ain't singing. So we, we don't need him to sing. Just come That's in, just man. We sing that anyway. We're out there singing it. The whole thing. And so there, people don't realize that there is a psychology to everything. Mm -hmm. And a lot of musicians think they're just up there singing. They're just up there singing and playing music. No, you are creating tones and vibrations that seep into the serotonin levels of people. Mm. So you can make them happy. You can make them sad. We can make people make babies. But corporations like us because we can make them go buy stuff. <laughs> That's the real. You know what I'm saying? That's what was preaching. I mean, it's but it's cool. We can keep it real. But, I, I, you know, I had to accept that. No, I, and I feel you. Um, and look, you're going to be accepting this honor, mm. which, which is well deserved for you. I mean, you know, yes, yes. we just talked to just a sliver of what Penny Four was about. But you know, you've grown to many different levels. Like you said, you spoke about climax. You were part of another group. You, SOS band. Did you? You work with um, background for um, Gap, right? Back no, Gap? actually, I was signed to the same label as Gap. Total experience. Total. Oh, Jesus, I got chills. No, <laughs> total experience. I was around the, 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 the old corral. And um, so I, I worked with them. I worked with a lot of the writers of the guys in the band. Okay. And I toured with Charlie and I, I worked with him because we were on under the same like sort of distribution deal. So they kind of sent us out as a package, you know. But I, I sang, I'm the female voice on I Found My Baby. And there's a couple other tunes that you'll hear me in there, you know. <laughs> so what happens? You say you don't do a lot of singing now. Is no. that that by obviously is by choice? But are you doing what else are you doing related to music now? Well, I tour all over the world every single weekend. As a matter of fact, I got a crazy Israeli agent who thinks that every weekend of my life he should be making money. <laughs> well, so I'm trying to reach a mutual situation. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a good problem to have, but they don't kill me. Because they will put they put another black chick up there and tell us tell us me and keep on moving, and they ain't gonna treat me like meme meme. We ain't doing none of that either. I run this, and we only be having us like oh dance. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh. You have to control that. So because they will, because they just see you as money and the money would. I get that. The money is good, but if I'm dead, I don't need money. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so, but um, I last weekend I did a gig in the Austrian Alps, uh, like high up in the Alps, in the uh, ruins, in the amphitheater, in the ruins of a 12 
hundred year old castle. That's great. I saw I saw you posted that. That's great. I work in the Arctic Circle. I work on the border of Syria and Lebanon with like with like snipers in the hill, protecting their land from the Israel. You know what I mean? Stuff you see on the news. That's where you work. I work. And the people are so glad that the thing is, that song made history. And it meant so much for the people that were like in Eastern Germany and the former Russia. Those people were held captive for many years mm -hmm. under communism. Mm -hmm. And I, I, after I did the castle, I did another gig on the eastern side of, 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 of Germany. And I was talking to a young girl. And I showed her a video. You can look it up. It's called Snap in Leipzig. So for 350,000 people, we, I did a show for people who had never seen black people who had never seen black people. They never seen, they didn't have no internet. They didn't have nothing like that. And they never saw a black person. No, because there are no black so Germans. you were a culture shock. I, both of us were culture <laughs> shocked. you know what I mean? But I know, I know, I grew up Kojic, okay? okay? You know what that is? No. Church of God in Christ. Honey. Oh, I know that's right. The largest Pentecostal well, mama, denomination right? in the world. Mama, was Mama? Mama was an apostolic pastor which is worse than Kojic, okay? Mm. <laughs> but what I grew up working people into a frenzy. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We work people into a frenzy and they run around the church and then they run, they drop that the envelope down there. In the yeah. You know what I mean? So I grew up doing that. So, you know, you see 350,000 people running at you, you gotta do something. Yeah. And then my ego starts talking <laughs> like, did you pin your wig down? Girl, don't fall, don't mess up, girl. Look at the people. They, and the people are so grateful. And this girl looked me in my eye, and she's a young girl. She said, I hope you understand the responsibility of the impact that you made on history. And she was speaking for her mother, her grandmother, wow. and the ones that came before her. I hope you understand how important you were to my people and their freedom. And I was like, girl, <laughs> you know, I'm just a black girl from Cincinnati, but I do accept the responsibility that the universe has given me. And it really, at the end of the day, a lot of it don't have nothing to do with music. Wow. A lot of my friends, they stand up there singing. They just sing and they got their eyes closed. They just, they're just singing. It's not about that. It's about impacting people, impacting cultures, impacting. This is an important job. It is an important job. And music has a very special way of just connecting all cultures, no matter yeah. what your economic background is, together. And I mean, they love black time. Americans in Europe. I I've have heard. To, yeah, they, they, they think I'm African, they treat me different. They look. <laughs> you think it's funny that I've never been to Cincinnati before. I haven't been, of course, well, I know. I, I'm, yeah. I'm coming late to the game. So yeah, I have okay. to do a lot of traveling these days. But look, I'm happy yes. that it all starts right here in Cincinnati. And it starts with this lady right here, Miss Penny Ford. Uh, you may have missed it this year, but if they're coming to the 2023 Cincinnati Music mm -hmm. Fest, what can you tell someone to expect? You can expect me to be in a, <laughs> in a lawn chair by my star, making sure nobody walk on my star. Come on, people have to walk on. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just, in my mind, I'm sitting there like, I know. don't want But um, every year it will grow back. This is This is a tradition. These are um, some lovely white people in this country, I mean, in this, in this city, in this county, that care a lot about black music and black culture. And they do, it doesn't look like it sometimes, you know, you can't tell some of these black folks around, 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 around I'm sweeping this floor. But um, this, this, um, this concert weekend is so important to bringing revenue to our black communities, to bringing more opportunities, more governmental um, things. So I'm here. I make myself available to this city. This is my home. I, and listen, I've been to the top of the globe, mm -hmm. the bottom of the globe, and around it several times. I can't think of another place that I would rather live and settle and set up roots than here. What's the what's the percentage of black folk in Cincinnati? I don't know. We had to we had to look that up. Okay, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's um, a great majority. I don't know. I don't know whether you know because you know this city is it taught me a lot about gentrification. So they move black people around. I don't know well, where we're all where. That. We are all no matter yeah, where. Of you course, know, that, that's of course, of course. But you know, I really appreciate the gentrification that happened here. 
because uh, my old neighborhood, because they moved the people from down here up there, had become like my grandmother couldn't even take a walk. When I grew up, we had stained glass windows. There were no stained glass windows. There was nothing and none of that. And now my old community is being restored, you know, back to, you know, a place that is livable and, you know, where people actually thrive. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it has its good and bad parts and people, if you're willing to be the ward of a state of the state, then you gotta move where they tell you to move. Mm. If you apply yourself, because people don't know. A black man here invented Tide soap powder, Crest, toothpaste. I went to school with his kids. Mm. Mm. A black man here. You understand? Because we got Procter and Gamble over here. There's a lot of black people over there inventing stuff. PNG, PNG, PNG. Procter and Gamble, PNG. That's right. That's right. So, you know, I mean, there's lots of if you want it. You can get it here, but you got to you got to play the game. You got to play the game. You got to play it right. You can't walk in there like what up. Why is my car? Right, right. So I got you. Look, we all have to learn to play the game of life. So I hope yeah, 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 you, absolutely. I want you to experience it. Look, this is my first time. Won't be my last time. And hopefully, if you've never been to Cincinnati, you will come and make it an experience because I'm looking That's forward awesome. to. I still got to go to the underground uh, museum, right? Okay, yes, go and there. it's it's lovely. But as, like I said, it focuses most on the abolitionists, the white people that helped the slaves over. Got it. But that's cool. This, but, but it still has a. This place has a rich history. There's a lot to be learned there. And there's a black winery here. Oh yeah, we got black breweries, wineries. Yeah, it's black. It's a lot of, you know. And that's what. That's another good thing about this weekend is that we'll be focusing on black tech, black business, black owned businesses, blackity black, blackity black, baby. This weekend, <laughs> blackity black. Well, look, this dynamic lady, Penny <laughs> Ford, put on that song, Power. That's all you got to do, power. And make sure you look out for her. But congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I am so honored. I'm humbled right. and grateful. Well deserving. And this is far from many that's coming. Thank you for locking in. Appreciate you.